we can often hear news reports of research breakthroughs, but it can be several years before a new treatment in the lab makes its way to the patient. Professor Christabel Saunders explains why the research process is a long one and the different phases of clinical trials. We may ask why it takes so long. Well, it's very important that when we do do research, we do research in a very structured way to ensure that the developments that we have, whether that be a drug or a new treatment for cancer, really is of the best benefit that we can have for the patient. We, we hear on the radio or on the television about something new that's been found in the laboratory, and yet it's often many, many years before that translates into better patient care. Research is a process that often starts with an observation in a patient. We see that for some reason a certain group of patients are not responding very well to treatment or perhaps their cancer progresses particularly quickly. We then have to go to the laboratory and ask the question in a lab setting to try to answer that. Can we find a better treatment for that particular group of patients? That in itself may take many years in the lab and from there to put things actually back into the clinic where we can use that finding will take many more years and those years are due to us doing things called cancer clinical trials. And of course, clinical trials is what our organisation is all about. So clinical trials are often said to be in three phases. The first phase of the development of a new treatment for cancer is called a phase one clinical trial, where we're really looking at the safety of a new agent or a new procedure. That can often be in quite a short time frame in a small number of people. But then we have to try to get the dose right, whether that's the dose of a drug or the particular uh, intervention exactly right. And then we put it into much bigger trials called phase three trials. In this setting, we need to compare our new treatment with the conventional treatment that we have for the cancer and see if it's better and perhaps has better side effect profile. To get this answer can take us quite a number of years. And it's not until then that we can then go to the authorities, to the funding agencies, to governments, and see whether this treatment can actually be used in our population of patients. That was Professor Christabel Saunders. To find out more about breast cancer trials and our research, go to breastcancertrials.org.au.